We're still quite early in my prayer journey. I'm still in my teens. And one other thing I learnt still in my teens, both through my direct learning as I prayed, stumbling along with the help of the Holy Spirit and with my congregation, my prayer group, with the books that I read, with the scripture and with the help of the Holy Spirit. One of the other things that was gifted to me was silence. Because sometimes when you pour out your heart to God in prayer, sometimes the words stop and all you're left with was gazing at God. And it helped me that one of the books I'd been lent by somebody at the prayer group was a book by Metropolitan Anthony. And I remembered a phrase that was in one of those books about a conversation he had had uh, with um, an old man he had seen at a church, I'm not sure where it was, and he'd seen an old man just sitting at the back of a church, just sitting, and he'd asked out of curiosity what that man was doing, and the old man had said to him, I'm just looking at God, and he's just looking at me. And reading in that book by Anthony Bloom, Metropolitan Anthony, gave me the courage when my words ran out, not to think, oh, I've finished praying. I don't know what to say to God. What do I do now? Mm, panic. To then pick up with some of the old prayers that I knew by heart, to have the courage to think that while well, it would have been fine to pick up some of the prayers I knew by heart, that actually I could just sit there and continue knowing that although I couldn't actually look at God, God was looking, in inverted commas, at me. And I could sit there and allow the love of God to envelop me. I could allow God to see the thoughts of my heart, to look into my mind and my memories, to envelop me, to uphold me, to know me, to sit with me. I could allow God to know the things I couldn't quite bring myself to say, that I couldn't quite bring myself to hear myself say, whether they were sorrowful or things I simply couldn't put into words. Sometimes it was intercessions I couldn't quite frame. Sometimes it was pain I couldn't quite bear to acknowledge. Sometimes it was joy I couldn't quite encompass. And sometimes it was just sitting quietly. So don't be afraid or confused or bored. Sometimes it's very necessary to be bored in prayer. When the words run out, don't think that prayer is over. When the words run out, have the courage to sit there just a little bit longer.